Good afternoon and welcome to your Citrus TV News Brief. I'm Eliza Lennon, here with today's top stories. Today is Veterans Day and Syracuse had many events in their honor. The morning began with a Veterans Day ceremony in Hendricks Chapel. The day continued with a national roll call on the steps of Hendricks, a warrior run, a luncheon, a blood drive, and more. Chancellor Seabrood has the goal to make Syracuse the best school in the country for Veterans Day. The Student Association voted yesterday to create a committee for the general body protest. The committee will consist of seven people that will read the 45-page list of demands from the general body and make recommendations. Pro protesters are still participating in the sit-in and continuing to sleep in Krause Heinz Hall. Watch Essay Today live at 6 with Dan Hernandez for more on the diversity and transparency rally. You will never again have to use coins in a parking meter in the city of Syracuse, if you have a smartphone that is. The city has a new mobile parking app that lets users charge the payment to their credit card. The new app called Whoosh is available for all of Syracuse's electronic pay stations. The app can be downloaded for free, though each transaction has a 35 cent fee. Parts of the upper Midwest woke up to a foot and a half of snow this morning. The Arctic blast from winter storm Astro hit Montana to Michigan and caused cold temperatures as far south as Texas and Alabama. We won't see those cold temperatures and snow until later in the week. But today was a warm and sunny day with a high of 65 degrees. For tonight, there's a 50% chance of rain and a low of 51 degrees. Tomorrow, there's a 60% chance of rain in the morning with the high expected to be 52 degrees. That's all for today's Citrus TV News Brief. Stay tuned for Essay Today, live at 6. I'm Eliza Lennon. Have a great night, Syracuse.